Welcome back, beautiful goddess. I hope you're starting to feel your money empress really rising within you. Like I said, this is a very healing uh, module and I'd love for you to make sure you create a sacred space for yourself as we go through this module. It is not so much about the information, it is about the experience. The I can only say that when you get yourself in a beautiful space, you have candles, you have your crystals, you calm your mind and you really sit in that deep presence with yourself. Start honoring your goddess. I love you to wear anything that makes you feel like a goddess who is totally abundant. That will absolutely bring out so much more healing for you when you have that intention of connecting with your wealth and your sovereignty and that beautiful money empress within you. So we're going to now move on to phase two, and this is a super exciting phase. This is alignment. Now, I absolutely love alignment because once you're aware of what has been stopping you, then you can start looking at how it's impacted your choices in your business. And now we get to start correcting. We get to start um, dismantling the old and putting together this new embodied empress business. So alignment is all about claiming your conscious wealth. And I want you to believe and say the mantra, I am awakened. I finally have awakened to my money stories and everything in the awareness that has been brought forward to me. So we're going to start digging deeper into alignment. Now you're going to work through each of these and I'm going to mention anything that is extra to support you through here, but just treat this as your first level of awakening, you know, really expanding and being aware of the alignment component. So for building your money growth mindset, I want you to think about your money soul path. What I mean by this is there are money spirit personas, which you can complete the quiz and you can find your money soul path. Okay. You can find out how you are showing up and, and, um, experiencing money in your different persona. Now, when you know your money soul path in, in that report, you will be able to delve deeper into yourself and how you are naturally in all areas of life. And how you show up in life is how money shows up, right? So everything is everything. Your, the way you do things with your partner is exactly the same you do things with your business, right? You're resonating at the same level. So work out your money soul path, write that down. The next, I want you to think about the gifts that you can monetize that feel soul aligned. Not everything will be soul aligned. Okay. So let me give you an example, right? For me, I have, I'm a chartered accountant and I've worked obviously in that field for 15 years. However, if I go back before I became a chartered accountant and looked at the choices that I made, and the things I really wanted to do, I actually wanted to be a graphic designer. I actually really loved the creativity and creating. I go back further. As a child, I was very competitive. I did horse riding. I loved taking on horses who were difficult. Um, I would often 
you know, my mother would often have trouble with her horses. She would buy a new horse and then realize that he was um, not broken or he was very high spirited. I loved that. I loved taking on the challenge of training a spirited horse or training one that was completely broken to build its confidence. I actually, um, one of my mother's horses was Starflight and unfortunately he, the previous owners rode him so hard and and challenged his jumping and they never really looked after him that he actually became afraid of doing a horse jump even this high. So he would gallop up to the jump and he'd slam on the brakes and not go any and like would not jump. So I spent months with him just, you know, walking him over the jumps, giving him lots of treat, building his confidence. And eventually, honestly, I was jumping massive spreads at horse shows and winning um, rosettes. And, and really, I had someone who was a horse trainer wanted to buy my horse off me. So I have another skill around taking the time to heal and this is with animals right to heal others to be creative i wanted to learn about money because i knew money was the main thing that you needed to know to be successful and if i could understand money at a level where i could understand all different businesses how, how they were successful why they failed why their numbers looked a certain way it was always something my family, my family are not financially literate and they never talked about money. So in me delving deeper into money and becoming a chartered accountant, I educated myself in financial literacy. And so when I bring these together, when I first started my business, I just fell into bookkeeping and I realized that I don't like lots of repetitive processes. I love systemizing and automating those because I want to be working on the creative side. I want to be breaking and expanding and being creative and working and inspiring others. This is why I'm such an amazing mentor, money mentor, because I get lit up by inspiring others and healing others. And I love systemizing. So it's a great skill set because it allows me to scale my business and teach my clients how to scale so with that story i want you to go through your uh gifts and not all gifts are one to be monetized right in your new path so pull out those elements of your soul that you just Realize that you kind of fell into what you loved doing. Teaching was another one. I always, if I go back, always fell into a teaching role. So teaching the horse um, at university, I was teaching my study partner to help her get better like grades. I, I studied a business degree uh, diploma and then they came and asked me if I wanted to be the trainer. So then I fell into training. And then throughout all my roles in chartered accounting, later when I was managing the audit division, I became their trainer and I was training the partners. So there's a training element that I love teaching and training. So it's great. I love doing online courses too. Um, so you'll find you've got some gifts that maybe repeating patterns in your life that you always kind of fall into something that is probably something your soul loves to do otherwise you'd be avoiding it right you wouldn't be putting a hand up to do that so i want you to write all those down and they will be part of you aligning your business so we're starting to expand what's possible in your business and we can absolutely bring in all these elements right so with my business, I systemize my client systems. 
I create the wealth branding and I really do a lot of work in branding and and creating that magnetic message. And then the money side, helping my clients with the tracking their money, with processing the money, understanding the, the, the numbers, in charging for their worth, in planning and goal setting, in just believing in their money a vibration. Okay, open to talking about money so much that is no longer a subject that never gets talked about. All right, I hope this helps you to really start unpacking your gifts. The next one in alignment is what is your money container now? So if you could write down a number that you're the most you feel you could charge someone for or the most amount that you feel you're comfortable with going into your bank account a month, write that down because that is what we're starting with, the money container. Might be because in corporate you're so used to receiving, you know, three, 5,000 a month, that might be your money container. You might be so used to that. That's your comfort zone. And when you get 20,000 in your bank account instantly, the problem with the money container is if it's you receive an amount more than your money container, you energetically want to get rid of the excess. So for example, if 5,000 is your money container and you do a launch and you make 20, you're going to want to spend the 15 pretty quickly. You might go and buy a car, 15,000, gone. See how those decisions come up where you, and so that purchase not really going to get you ahead in life, is it? But it's a quick knee reaction to get you back to that comfort zone. What we want to do is start expanding that money container. So when 20,000 arrives at your bank account, you can look at it and you can go, Yes, thank you. More, please. I would love that and more. And you can sit with it. You can let it be there. You can know you've earned it. And there's no longer a knee-jerk reaction to spend it. Okay, that's when you know you've expanded your money container. Now, I want you to sit down and visualize what money container do do you want okay so how i do this is i think about if for example i want to have a property portfolio i want to have enough money that i can just invest a deposit each month if i wanted to so fifty thousand is my number that i want because fifty thousand a month is quite an easy yes to be purchasing property or making big investments, right? And so to me that's when life gets really luscious. So what is your number? And honestly, once you hit fifty thousand, you're gonna increase it, right? You're gonna go, well, I'm scaling my business fifty thousand, gross is not really enough anymore to sustain you know your workers your outsources your facebook ads obviously it's going to change as you grow and scale but right now where you are right now what is that next money level okay the next one aligning with your authentic business model now no two businesses when you look at a successful business is the same they are all so, so different. Don't get conned into thinking that your business model is like a copycat model. Absolutely not. So, for example, when I coach you in your business model, I'll think about what are your traits, how you show up, what you are most comfortable with, how I think you would best connect with your clients. And then we craft your most authentic business model. And that maybe if you enjoy people and connection, that might be showing up live and doing lots of group coaching and maybe retreats. If you are more studious and your clients are more 
needing um, a closed container, privacy, if you're very good at um, producing content and educating, then yours might be going straight to the online course or a combination. Uh, you may be very vibrant and um, have a lot of energy and you feed off others' energy. So maybe live launches or this live strategy would be better for you. And we would certainly map this out and create a launch plan for the year. But I just want you to think about your business model and if it truly aligns with you. What works for you and what doesn't is all we need to get to right now all right the next one what elements impact your money so there are four belief levels and in the theta healing deep dives you'll be working through each of these but think about your body your soul your spirit your dna and what parts of these impact your money? Okay. The next, Theta Healing. We're going to talk about how relationships impact your money. Okay. This is an interesting one because I've had lots of, um, I guess, relationships to show me that I was living in scarcity. So, you know, my marriage and the relationship after was very much in scarcity in me providing and me supporting the men and them not valuing me and really treasuring my gifts, right? I was always asked, where's the money? Why did you spend all that money? Why are you spending all this money on mentors? Where did the money go? You know, how could you, or the guilt in me investing in myself and saying yes to myself and growing through my education. So I want you to think about your relationships and how they impact your money. Because I knew with those two relationships, I'd never be abundant. I was always sabotaged when I was doing launches. I was not supported enough to be able to show up the way I needed to. I didn't have the consistency in my home life to be able to launch something that was within my resonance. So I spent a lot of time creating the foundations for the course, a lot of time in the spiritual side, a lot of the time in all of this I'm unpacking for you. It's taken a lot of time of years of me creating and now that I'm in a relationship and my partner he's amazing he so supports me he uh he is just you know so overly generous with money he believes in me he is supporting me I'd love to have him in my business totally different resonance and now I'm in an amazing waterfront property. I feel fully supported to do my business. I work from home. I have my clients over for vision board workshops and he's looking after the kids. Like everything is working. So how can you get to that point where everything's in alignment? And it might not be that you need to change your relationship, but it may be in you having that conversation with your partner around you are a CEO of your business. These are the dreams I have. This is the support I need from you. So we're not going to go into too much detail about relationships right now, but I really want you to make some notes around those relationship stories and we'll do some theta healing on them. All right. The next is creating space and rituals for money. So I talked about the money story in the previous episode, and I want you to think about every morning how you can add a gratitude meditation around money into your day. How can you create space in your day every day to have rituals around money? 
how can you maybe have a love note in your wallet around enjoying spending money and how grateful you are that there's money to spend when a client wants to pay you how can you rather than getting frantic with oh how do i do this or what if they don't pay catching yourself and just going i'm grateful you know i'm about to receive and and um sending them energetic love for letting the money flow to you so so important because if you don't do this when you do have someone wanting to pay you you will start putting up the walls you'll start changing your vibration you really need to be abundant for money to want to be abundant for you you've got to go first okay and lastly what does it feel like to reclaim your rich nourished life i want you to think about a time in your life where you felt the richest you've ever felt the most nourished and feel like and if it's not in this lifetime it was probably in the last because your goddess within you knows i want you to sit and really write down the feelings and what does it feel like to you to live a rich nourished life all right beautiful get into immersing yourself in this phase two alignment to claim your conscious wealth to know you are awakened and to really start digging deeper into aligning your business, your gifts, your relationships, and your energy and rituals around wealth. I so look forward to seeing everything that you discover.